quick question. You all recognize this guy? Well, probably so, because you've seen him in some of my previous videos, including the first part of this series. This right here is the yellow rat snake. The goal of this video is to educate people about some of the snakes they may encounter here in Florida. I told y'all we'd start off with the glass lizard, so let's do that. If you haven't seen the first part of this video, just click the link below and you'll be able to see the first part of this video. This is going to be a seven part video series. As a brief refresher, there's 50 species of snakes here in Florida, but only seven of those are venomous. Take for instance this glass lizard. Now technically this isn't a snake, however it is similar to a snake and through time and adaptation to their environment they've lost the use of their limbs and stopped growing limbs altogether. Not having those limbs behind them allows them to move faster through leaf litter. And even more ironically glass lizards can actually lose their tail so these guys are just experts at losing body parts. Now they lose their tail in order to evade predators the tail will continue to waggle and do no harm to the actual lizard species. That will distract the predator and allow him to make a clean getaway. Adaptation, it's crucial to survival. Now, we know that the legless lizard is faster because it doesn't have legs, but there's other snake species that are even faster than a legless lizard. Take for instance, the black racer. Now as a juvenile, the black racer resembles a red rat snake or gray rat snake and is often confused. As the black racer matures into an adult, it loses the splotching color and becomes solid black. It's believed that this confuses anything flying above, such as hawks or eagles, from being able to pinpoint its location, just looking more like a shadow than an actual snake. Now we covered a lot of different snakes and a lot of aquatic snakes. You know, many snakes have developed different attributes like holding their breath to be able to survive in aquatic environments. However, the sea snake has stepped it up one level from that. Its tail, instead of being long and slender, is more like a rudder or oar on its rear end so it can propel itself very fast through the water. In addition to that, it's one of the seven species and often forgot about or overlooked species of venomous snakes here in Florida. Many people mistake them for eels. Sea snakes and coral snakes are closely related However, they are not so closely related with rattlesnakes, copperheads, and cottonmouths, or water moccasins. Now, all those species are what are considered pit vipers. That is another adaptation. Pit vipers have a special sensory organ beneath their eye and above their upper jaw that allows them to detect heat from any predators or prey. Now, this small snake you're seeing in my hands right here, this is a pine wood snake. Now pine wood snakes don't get very large, they are brightly colored however, usually have a subterranean lifestyle and can be found under brush piles or rotten logs. They also live in a similar environment to the ringneck snake and crown snake. And this guy is free to go home. Make sure you hit that like button if you like this video and go back and check out some of our previous videos like the first part of this seven part series. This is the second part to the seven part series. I will upload snake identification every Wednesday and make sure you go back and check out some of our previous videos like the black racer identification video. Thanks for watching this episode. I'm your host Alex with the Great Outdoors Network.